Welcome to this demonstration on submitting forms for our CRM and Rollin Forms module. Refer to the video on creating forms to understand how we can create general and pre-admission forms and link them. So to start, open the submissions page, which you can do from the new submissions panel. Or you can open this page from the administration menu. In this video, we'll look at two form submissions, an entrance test form application and an enrollment form. Let's submit an entrance test form. This is a generic form linked to the pre-admissions form. In this example, Edward fills out the entrance test form to gain admission to the first year civil engineering course. Let's assume the test is a prometric test and so Edward selects the date, venue and other details on the entrance test. You can print the details. We will cancel for now. After submission, Edward receives an email confirming that his application has been received. The submission ID in the email. Submission ID is used by students to view application status. Students can view the form and check submission status. Here's the email sent to Edward with the submission status. Moving on, the submissions page lists all the submissions received thus far. Let's search for entrance test form submissions. Here's Edward's submission. Let's offer the admission to Edward. To do this, you need to change the status. Notice that the status changes to admission offered. Here's the email that Edward receives notifying that he is offered an admission. The email has a link to the enrollment form that Edward has to fill out to complete the admission process. Here's the enrollment form. Let's fill in the details. Here's the email which says that an enrollment form has been received. Let's view how many students have submitted the enrollment form. To do this, we can filter on enrollment form. Let's view this submission in detail and make updates. This is a workflow of status from processing to enrollment. You can move the application to different status. Note that you can have any number of custom workflow status. Let's move the form to the admission offered status. You can add notes and attachments, set up a meeting with the student and view interlinked forms. Here's the information on the interlinked form. Now an email is triggered that the admission is offered. Let's move this form to the enroll status. You get an error if the student limit for a class slash section has been reached. Let's add this student to another section of the same course instead. Once enrolled, a student receives a login invite with username and password. Let's return to the admin login and open the forms page. Let's click the edit link to view the dashboard. In the dashboard, you can view the total submissions, enrollments and so on. And that's how you manage form submissions with Classy 365. Thank you for watching.